Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday, September 1st. I am so excited for this month. Um, right now, it is about 8 o'clock. I've been awake for a little bit, but I messed up because today I have my video. It's like a productive day in my life. I'm selling my planner in this video and I, I just messed up my planner so I have to like redo some parts if that makes sense. So I am setting a timer to go off at 9.30 because if I don't finish it, I have four other videos in my account manager that I can post today and it'll be okay if I just post it a day later. But um, we're starting September on a little bit of a frantic note, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. I'm just setting a timer for an hour and 30 minutes and hopefully I can get this finished. I know I said uh, that I was going to do three different planners, but I decided to just do one because they're all way too similar and I don't know that there was that much interest for others, if that makes sense. So if you guys do want the others, like I'm just doing a generic school one that you can apply it to other things. There's like pages in there that you can write in some stuff. But if you want a specific one with like specific layouts and spreads, let me know because I will do that um, if there's an interest though, obviously. Let's get to some work. It is a good bit later. I have my digital planner completed and it's kind of interesting because I was like oh I'll just put a different video up if I'm not ready by 10 a.m. but then I realized like literally no one's holding a gun to my head to upload at 10 a.m. so I pushed the upload of my video today until 5 which I think it should be fine and then I just premiered all of the videos that I have in there whenever I do daily uploads like although first of all I do YouTube too like first and foremost enjoy it and share my life and like have memories for myself but I also do like want to do well <laughs> so every time I do daily uploads it's like a giant experiment I guess that's how I look at it I don't know I just look at it as an experiment and see what kind of does well on my channel what doesn't so this month I'm going to try to premiere all of my videos as soon as I get them finished and I think I've gotten off to a really good start um considering i decided to do daily uploads like three days ago but yeah i have the first four videos in there i think now i need to think about what i need to do so first i really need to do some like i need to read this book for something i'm studying for i'm gonna give myself an hour to work on that i do want to sit down and write out a time blocking schedule because it is almost noon um but right now i think i'm gonna go get some coffee i hate this about me but i just think like i love coffee at home i love it so much but just like getting coffee out there's nothing that compares there's really nothing that compares i just love some dunkin coffee so i'm gonna get some coffee from dunkin and then i'm gonna come back do some book work for an hour and then i want to film a video today because i was supposed to go camping Last weekend, I think I mentioned this in my last vlog, I was supposed to go camping, but there was that hurricane that came through and then we were gonna push it to this current weekend, but there, my sister's coming home for Labor Day and then, um, so we're pushing it to the next weekend, which is my birthday weekend, and I was gonna do like a birthday vlog and a camping vlog, so now they're like together. So I need to find um, a week next week where I can plan something like with my friends to go out like before my birthday and do something not so that i can have a vlog but so that i can be with my friends um <laughs> like i can have a time with my friends and a time with my family because i want to do both um so yeah and i'm going camping with my mom and my sister that's what's happening i am so excited that i just finished my calendar i actually changed it up a little bit from the one that i was currently using i just realized that there were some things that functionally they could have been better so I changed it and I made them better um so yeah I'm really happy I don't I didn't mind that it took me like an hour and a half to, or two hours to do it because 
I think it just looks so much better now and there's so much more room to write like I spread out instead of a month spread being on one page I spread it out to two pages which I think is just it's so much better. I, I don't know. I just like really improved it and I'm really happy about it. So we're going to go to Duncan. If you guys haven't seen my room, I'm having dilemmas. You guys probably would have seen my room makeover. I actually just premiered it uh, or I just set it to premiere like in two or three days. But I put my bed over here and I cannot stand beds being on like in the corner of wall like on walls so whenever I get rid of this couch I'm thinking about rotating the bed this way like long ways and then leaving you know a little bit of space here and maybe putting my yoga mat right here and then a mirror a full-length mirror there let me know what you guys think about that because I really don't like my bed being on a wall but I also hate it being on a window too because you guys can see I don't have a headboard and back here they like slide back there so I had to put this pillow so my stuff doesn't slide back but where my bed used to be they would just slide down there um so i'm thinking i'm gonna rotate it so it's that way and then the yoga mat mirror and my bed will be like that and that right there i'm not sure where to go maybe over like right in front of the window because that gets really good sunlight right there but let me know what you guys think i do actually really love how this space is so open um you guys will see in videos coming that i'm filming a bunch of just my outfits right here and it's honestly a good place to like take a picture um if i need to so that's what's happening um i'm like obsessed with my room it always feels weird sleeping in your room when you like switch it up the first few nights but i loved it and i woke up this morning and i was like ah, i love this but it is a really dreary day so it's a good day to get some work done. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I feel like guilty if I stay home and do work when it's a nice day outside. But yeah, so it's dreary, so I'll be fine to do that. Let's go. Okay guys, this is so random, but I wanna have a little honesty hour right now. Or, well, honesty, like 10 minutes. But <laughs> I was just thinking about this because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I was about to do that. And also, this is no like hate to anybody at all, none. But I was on TikTok and I don't know why, but a lot of times on TikTok, I'll get um, TikToks of people buying fake designer items. And there was, I'm just obsessed with the Prada nylon bags. I'm like, I'll admit it. I think they're very cute. And there's this one that has like the crinkly type of material. I'll insert a picture of the fake one or the real one if I can find it. I don't even know if it's, if it is a real one, but there's one with a crinkly material. And if you guys watched my last like uh, sustainable haul, you'd know that that is like actually my favorite material. And it wasn't like super crinkly like that, but it had that kind of look to it. And it was like bright pink and so cute. I didn't see this specific one on TikTok. I saw a different one on TikTok, but then they said like it's on at DH Gate. So I went and looked and they had this really cute one at DH Gate that was crinkled pink. And I was sitting there and I literally put in my card information, was about to check out, and then it said that my card um, declined it because whenever, if I ever buy anything from overseas on one of my debit cards, it always declines it because, um, I don't know why, it just always does. I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so then I was just thinking about it and I was like, this is so against like everything that I believe in. First of all, buying like knockoff stuff. Although I want it so badly. <laughs> Like I literally want it and if you see it on my Instagram mind your own business but I literally I, I want to know what you guys think about it buying fake designer stuff like honestly I don't think it's the fact that it's designer I think I just think the thing is cute and I haven't seen anything else that looks similar to it and I don't feel like looking for it if that makes sense like I I mean I if, if there was one that didn't have Prada on it I would for sure buy it but it's just like it's so cute. It's so cute. And it's like, 
not that expensive like it I think the one I was looking at was like $50 but it was so freaking cute so let me know <laughs> your guys opinions on it honestly I might act up because my birthday is next week and I'm honestly might just buy it there's no way I would ever buy a real one because I think that's just it's like a bag that's smaller than the size of my head I do have a big head but it's like very small but anyways I, I like want it so badly, but I want to hear your guys' opinions on fake designer stuff because I do remember I did buy a fake cart. I've bought fake things before. I'm not going to lie. I had a fake Gucci belt, which I literally, I think I just got rid of actually in my video when I was cleaning or rearranging my room. I got rid of that because that's just like not distasteful. I mean, that's just distasteful to me at this point in my life. And then I had a fake Cartier ring, which I, I actually thought that was really cute but it was a little, it was not my size, so I gave it to my sister, but I think it was really cute. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about fake items. I feel like they're just like, I, like, am I a fraud that I want these things and that I have owned these things? It's not like I'm going around flashing them. Like, I don't think you'll ever see, I don't think I've ever posted a picture of me in a Gucci belt. Like, I, I just don't, because it, I just haven't and that's just like I don't know I was like I'm not gonna show off my fake stuff <laughs> but anyways let me know what you guys think about that I'm a Duncan so I'm gonna um peace also this woman was literally just staring at me hello guys it is a good bit later I think I talked to you guys last time probably around 11 30 and it's 2 51 um, I've been literally scrolling on TikTok do you ever get on TikTok and it's just like every tiktok you see is just fire so you have to keep going i was scrolling and i was like okay the next bad one or like the next one that i don't laugh at i'll get off and then i was like they're just all quality um so i was doing that for a while and then i made some lunch and now i'm sitting down studying for this test that i'm gonna take in December. Tuesdays are like my days of rest. I told you guys in my last vlog that I am going to st start trying to make full days be dedicated to certain things. Obviously there are things that I have to focus on every day, but two days are, Tuesdays are my chill days. Um, if I feel like doing something, I'll do something. If I don't, I don't. Studying is something that I do every single day. I do it for an hour by myself and then I have like a two hour block um, in the evening to like collaborate with other people, which is really helpful for me because I need individual study and then I can talk to other people about what I have learned. But I had been last week doing it like the hour before, I would take an hour right before the call and that just didn't give me enough time to digest it and kind of focus on something else and then come back to it. That's how I learn the best is when I am able to do something, go away for a little bit and then come back and talk about it and um, just get like reinforcement of what I learned earlier. That's how it sticks in my head better. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I do this in complete silence. I remember in college, I would always study like with my headphones in and I have no clue how I ever did that. I know that I was just a poor studier in college as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I always seem to, you know, make it out okay, but I just don't know. I, I was studying for a really long time and now I can set a timer for an hour and be like, I need to read this, take notes on this, and I'll be good. I, I would rather spend one hour in complete silence than like five hours with headphones in listening to music. So that's what's going on right now. Um, later tonight, I have a really exciting meeting. I'm so excited for this. I'm actually, I was talking about this in my last vlog as well. I'm a part of this um, advocate team for a brand and it's a brand that's a sustainable brand so that's definitely more like in line with my morals. I would love to work with more sustainable brands but they are quite honestly just hard to like get in contact with and this was the first one. Well actually no, this is the second one. One brand sent me stuff but this was the first one that they like actually wanted me to be on their advocate team. So we're doing a Zoom meeting every single once a month and we're going to like learn a bunch of things and collaborate with each other, which I just love collaborations. I love that. I love 
sharing information with other people, having them share information with me, meeting new people. I'm just obsessed with that. And I think that before quarantine, I just labeled myself as an introvert, which I definitely still am. But I think I let that be the excuse for me not being social a lot and me kind of sticking to my friends and not really venturing out and putting myself in situations where I'm in a Zoom call with people that I don't know. Um, but I think that I have just learned to kind of love it and I've seen like so much good come from being in collaborative groups like the YouTube group I love that we had a meeting last night and it was just so fun to catch up with them um, also with those girls in that YouTube group we're gonna do a book club soon I think we're reading where the crowd at sing um, and then we're gonna do a zoom call so if any of you guys would be interested in reading that book and then getting on a zoom call to discuss it I think we're gonna read the whole book and discuss it once we're all finished which I think we said we were gonna have until October 1st there was nothing really um, pinned down but I do think I'm gonna buy that book either today tonight or tomorrow so that I can start reading it because I do really want to be a part of that book group. I need to just start reading more. Um, I've just noticed that my vocabulary is declining. Um, I think in school I was just always around smart people who always used big words and so I would use big words because I was exposed to more. And not even necessarily big words but like just uh, common grammar. <laughs> like I need to be exposed to more. I need to read more literature and um, just sharpen those skills but i am just taking some notes on my ipad which i'm so loving like i just love everything about my ipad and i'll show you guys what my notes look like so far that's from just today but my notes they're not nothing special i just like write things highlight some things that was from chapter two so today i have to finish this types of arguments I just made today like a major chill day. I did get some stuff done. I studied a little and that's really it. And then I just chilled for the rest of the day. But it is about 7 o'clock right now. I was supposed to have a call at 7. But we postponed it till tomorrow. And we're doing two sections tomorrow rather than one section today and one section tomorrow. Which is actually perfect for me because I really do want to like bask in this day of doing absolutely nothing but I do have a call at 8 that I was talking to you guys about and I'll tell you how it goes after I'm just like so excited for that call and to meet the entire team I'm just like ah, this is so fun um but anyways I am having a little dilemma right now because as you guys know my bed is like up against the wall which is not necessarily ideal um, like I was saying before, I do intend on moving it, and you just saw what my dilemma is. Every time I lay down, the plug is, like, right where my bed is, and it just keeps turning on and off because my bed is, like, moving and I'm laying on top of it. I'm gonna have to find another plug, but this power strip is also very short. So, we're gonna see if I can get something together because this is just not it. It's just not. Okay, I would have to say that this was the best discovery I've ever had because the plug over there works with the light switch. So now, I never knew where it was and now I just found it and it's because that couch was there. So I'm actually happy that we had to make that little switch. That's amazing. Okay, so now I think I'm going to plan out my day for tomorrow because I do actually have to get back to getting stuff done. Tomorrow is um, the main focus is, what is it? I'm like forgetting. <laughs> the main focus is applying to jobs, which it's not, it's not something that takes a long time, but it does like I need to actually focus on it. And um, I'm going to do that in the morning. I also need to work out tomorrow. Um, Tuesdays are my day off. So I didn't work out today, but tomorrow we are getting back into it. Okay, so I think I said that I was sitting down to plan my videos and uh, or plan my schedule for tomorrow. I'm also turning on my watch later. I have a ton of them in here. 
A lot of these I've already watched, but some of them I just have gotten inspiration from, so I don't want to remove them from my watch later. And then others, like this one, is probably one that I would watch while I'm editing or doing something long, because it's an hour long. Also, I have just gotten so into the commentary YouTubers. I don't know why. I just have gotten, like, so invested in what they talk about and, like, what they're saying. Um, and this one just looks like it's going to be a good one. And then... I do want to finish this video because I love everything that Katherine Manning says, and then I have a good bit of others. Also, I want to show you guys my new favorite YouTuber. Her name is Lolita Olympia, and she has like like similar following to me and I have just been loving her videos like this girl is someone who I look at I watched her videos and I was like surely she has like 100k or something like that and I'm like wait she doesn't and I don't understand why so I'm gonna link her channel below because it's actually so great I love her channel and she has uh, I think I talked about her in my last vlog because she had um ceramics that she was selling and I think that's what you call them she like does pottery she makes um I think they're called ceramics but they are so cute like <laughs> I want them so badly, but I can't justify buying anything for a home until I have an apartment. So the second that, and she announced yesterday or like two days ago that she has international shipping. So whenever that time comes, I will 100% be buying from her. Um, I'll link her. I think it's an Instagram that you can buy the stuff from or maybe she has a website and if that's the case I'll link that below as well. I'm just like literally obsessed with her stuff and it's like so cute. The Instagram is so cute like uh, uh, follow her. I follow her Instagram, her Lolita by Lolita Instagram. Everything is just like goals like looking at it you're just like this makes me feel warm and hugged. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but I, she posted a video today, and I'm going to watch that while I do my schedule. I want to, I guess this is a question. Do you guys like it better if I talk through, like, what I'm doing? Like, talk through making my schedule and um, show you guys what exactly I'm putting on it? Or do you just want it sped up? Because I used to be very against um, time lapses, like speeding clips up and just putting music over it I would usually just do a few really short clips of just real time but then some people just really like to hear me talk which I mean it's not like a flex but people just comment that they like hearing me talk so maybe I could just like talk through it um but let me know this time I'm not going to talk because I'm watching a YouTube video but if you guys want me to talk through I will also, thank you guys for just, like, showing me love on the, the long, chatty videos. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always post them, and, and I'm, like, scared. I'm, like, nobody's going to watch this because, like, obviously they're not as searchable because um, they're vlogs. Like, nobody is searching for a vlog. At least I'm not. Unless I am searching for vlogs of people who live in specific places, like, if I'm going to travel there or something like that. But, like mine it's just me talking about my day um which is just like not entertaining i feel like to someone who doesn't know me like i think vlogs are mainly entertaining when you know the person who is vlogging and like you know their personality and like you know things about them um i just got off on a tangent and forgot what i was saying <laughs> Okay, well, that is just a sign that I need to go. Goodbye. Okay, guys, as promised, I'm going to tell you about this call. It was, like, so amazing. I'm just so excited. And, um... Yeah, I'm just so excited. I got on the call. It started at like 8 and it went till 8.40 or something like that. But um, I feel like I was telling one of my, well, I was telling Laura, I was like, I think this is like the first brand that really, that I've worked with that really aligns with my morals. 
and I was just like so <laughs> reassured by that fact because once we got on the call they were welcoming a lot of new advocates which I was a new advocate and um, there were a few that were um, like a few months old like they had come started in June and the first thing that they that we talked about was this um, man who is in ch he's like the founder of this organization called Rahim he it's like something with police brutality and having um, a software like a website where you can report police brutality because right now the only place that you can po report police brutality is to the police which is obviously a conflict of interest um, but he was telling us how he fell in love with a boy when he was 15 years old and then he like I sit, was sitting there and I was like am I about to cry right now and his um partner died was killed by the police in Oklahoma and it like didn't get any um recognition like there was no basically the things that happen like today where there's like a worldwide media um just going crazy that didn't happen it kind of was just tucked under the rug and he said that he was going to commit his life to making sure that no one else had to um, die at the hands of a police or um, like be on the receiving end of police brutality without representation and so then we were just talking about how that's going to be a big thing that we are talking about this month like pushing this month um this is like a indefinite partnership so i'm really excited to be working with them i will have a diff a discount code with them as well so um if you guys want any of the any of the stuff you get 20 percent off i want to say um when all when i get all of this stuff i will let you guys know but i'm just like so happy that this is happening because I just I mean I work with brands here and there but it's really it's like a materialistic thought like you know I don't know how to explain it but like this brand like I would say like this brand represents how I feel about a lot of things like social injustice and sustainability they are a sustainable brand and yeah so i'm really excited about that i'm just so excited um but i think i'm going to for the rest of the night chill in my bed i'm doing this thing where i'm waking up at 6 a.m for a week for a video and i'm starting that tomorrow i kind of I'm doing it for a video, but I'm also doing it for myself to see if that um, increases my productivity. I know that I do get a lot of stuff done in the morning, but the past few mornings, or like the, the past few mornings for the last like month or two, I've just been so slow because I've been staying up so late. So I'm hoping that I will be able to go to sleep early tonight. Well, I know I'm going to be able to go to sleep early tonight because I'm not doing a single thing. If you guys have rest days like this, um, I know I just, oh no, I didn't post it yet. No, I did. Okay, I know I just posted. When you guys are seeing this, it will have been posted. My self-care day. And that day I was doing a ton of things, like just doing basically my favorite things. But I feel like this day, the ones that I have weekly where there are more self-care days are... For like relaxing and resetting myself and getting ready for the week because I think a lot of people use Sundays like that but I work like a lot on Sundays I do I get a lot of things done on Sundays I don't know why but I just feel like Sundays I if I work a lot I can walk into the week feeling good and not feeling you know behind which is exactly what I did this Sunday I got all of my videos ready for this week except for one which I will worry about tomorrow but yeah so this day was great I'm going to lay in my bed and watch some YouTube until 11 o'clock and it's about nine now so I have two hours to watch something good I'm so excited to just get in my bed <laughs> okay well that's it for me I'm running out good morning guys it is 
8 a.m. I am sitting down right now responding to emails. I only have one email to respond to, but I need to um, come up with a rate card because that's something I haven't done yet. So I'm just doing some research, looking at some YouTube videos. Um, I do ask around like other people what uh, they have charged for certain companies because I just haven't nailed down exactly what I want to charge and I think that this is where a manager would be so great but I think my YouTube channel is not at the spot where it's necessary for me to have a manager. I think I all of the correspondence that I have with uh, partnership people um, it's manageable for me to talk to them and kind of negotiate for myself. I'm really excited for this one because they're asking me about a mention within like a month and then also Black Friday. So that'll be really fun. Um, just thinking about the fourth quarter and like how that's when most companies have the most money. So they're like willing to pay you a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is like my first time going like into Black Friday season with a YouTube with like a following <laughs> last time I think I had like 100 followers like this time last year and yeah so I'm really excited to start working with some more brands and yeah that's what's happening and then we're gonna work out I might try to see you later okay so I am sitting at my computer it is 9 58 I was supposed to be working out at 9 but I just saw bigger importance and bigger priority on getting my rate card made a few companies have asked for it in the past and I haven't had one I've just like told them so I just thought um, on the day that I'm focusing on like my applying to jobs like this kind of fits into a job and I should just get that together <clears throat> I did go downstairs and make some coffee I will show you guys my rate card when I've gotten like the template made before I put in like the values but I have found that doing canva on the computer is so much better and easier and more efficient like just the controls that you can use on Canva online versus on your iPad or on your phone are just so much better. And I thought that the iPad would be a lot easier than on your phone, which I guess it is. Like with the pencil, it's a little bit easier, but the computer controls are just so much more, like they just run so much more smoothly and you can like drag and select all of your stuff and move it and resize it um that was something i was really wanting wanting to do on my phone or on my ipad and i just couldn't figure it out so i how did i figure out that you could do it on your computer i was watching um lolita olympia i told you guys about her yesterday or like sometime in this vlog but she said that she was doing all of her promo for her um, new pottery drop. I saw her doing it on there and I was like, oh my gosh, I did not realize that you could do that on Canva. But I also wanted to tell you guys this funny thing I just saw. Oh, well, my dad sent it to me and it was a tweet. It was from CNN Breaking News and the tweet reads, I'll put it on the screen. It says, at least 1,017 students at the University of South Carolina have coronavirus have COVID-19 according to the university's latest update on its dashboard making it one of the highest case counts recorded at a college so far and I posted it on my Instagram story I just screenshot it and posted it on my Instagram story and I said this is embarrassing like nothing other than this is embarrassing and a girl who I used to follow her but I don't follow her anymore she responded to it and said why would you spread this baby what about worry about spreading covid like you got other things to worry about spreading obviously i didn't say that to her but i don't ever respond to people when they like message me like things like that i'm just like uh okay anyways next let's just keep it on mute next time make that noise in your head next time <laughs> my friend kaylee she's probably she could be watching this sometimes she watches my videos but she is a teacher and she it's like her first year of teaching and that's so exciting. She's, I wanna say kindergarten. I wanna say they're really young, but she said that another teacher, she was around another teacher and a kid was making noises and the teacher said to this kid, <laughs> she said, how about you 
or she said something about um how about you make that noise inside of your head <laughs> she literally came for his neck but um right now i'm just going to continue doing my little media card i'll actually show you guys now um this is what it's looking like so far. I have my platforms, my statistics, and then I'm going to have all of my past partnerships right here. And then this rates, it's going to be, the top is going to be for Instagram and the bottom is going to be for YouTube. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I also want to show you guys this coffee. The La Cologne partnership that I had. Um, they sent me a bunch of, they sent me like 24 cans of coffee, so like 24 days, and you guys know I'm a regular at Dunkin' and Starbucks lately, but, so I haven't been, um, drinking it every single morning. Whenever I don't go to get coffee, I will drink it, and I drank all of the cold brews, I drank all of the vanilla draft lattes, and then I think I drank one double shot, but I never had the triple shot, and today I thought since I woke up at 6 a.m., I should have a triple shot latte um i am gonna be like monitoring my anxiety levels today i am obviously i just took a sip of it like two seconds ago and that was my first sip there's been periods in my life where like coffee makes me very anxious and i will notice like the second i stop drinking it i'm okay um and then i'll start drinking it again and i stay okay for a little bit and then it happens again so it's kind of like a never-ending cycle like sometimes coffee is I, I'm, I'm loving coffee i'm obsessed with it other times it makes me a bit more anxious but I'm going to monitor, you know, how I'm feeling today. I just felt like today, since I'm waking up, at, or since I woke up at 6 a.m., it would be fun to have, you know, something to keep me going throughout the day. It's 10 a.m. and I've gotten a good bit of things done this morning um, on my computer. And now I'll have the whole day to film a video. Oh my gosh, my video is premiering right now. That's what's happening. I am just trying to finish up my rate card, which shouldn't take too long. I also am very close to 5K. Well, not very close. I'm, I just hit 4.6K, I think, last night. And I'm so excited because it's like not about the subscribers, but it's just like that would be such a monumental goal for me and i was talking to my youtube friends because it's almost like you can't really celebrate the little goals in between i remember 1k was like a really big deal for me because i was trying like so hard and it was right when i decided to like put my mind to doing well on youtube because you guys know i had a youtube for or maybe you don't know but i had a youtube for a whole year like since February 2019 and February 2020 I think I had like 200 subscribers 200 or 300 subscribers and I think <clears throat> it never truly mattered to me but I knew that I wanted to um, work with brands and stuff like that so with that you do have to and go on trips and like do more traveling so with that you do have to gain a subscriber base and a, a base of supporters and uh so that's when i kind of put my mind to posting the best content and i'm not saying that my videos are the best but i do think there's a clear shift between my videos now and my videos when i was in college just posting videos with my friends to save the memories and as much as i love those videos they were very selfish like they were very much for me to look back on and enjoy and although some videos that i post today are for me to look back on and enjoy like my travel videos like my colorado one i will definitely look back on that in years to come and just be so like brought back to that time when i was in colorado most of them are not necessarily for me you know like i think most of them are to help people or to provide some sort of entertainment but they're videos that i'll post and probably won't ever watch again um and not to say that i'm not proud of them i'm so proud of every single video i post like i always say because sometimes my friends will ask me like if i ever get embarrassed that so and so knows that i have youtube and i'm like no like i would watch my youtube videos with some popcorn like front row 
so that's how I feel about my videos like I just honestly all of them I'm like I mean I could watch them <laughs> if you put a gun in my head I would watch them all so I I think I set a little bit of an unrealistic goal for myself to I think when I said I wanted to get 5k by my birthday I was at uh I don't even remember honestly but I was far like hundreds of subscribers away and I'm still like 400 away <laughs> So I do think daily uploads help with that. Also, I want to know how you guys feel about the premieres. I have put a good bit of videos up and they're premiering and they're scheduled, but you guys can see them. I know when I usually do that, I just don't premiere them so that nobody can see that they're already there, but they are there. And I feel like the response that I've gotten from premieres is that people can go and look at the video before... Like they can see that it's there and they can discover my channel before it even goes live, which I never knew that that was a thing. Like I think I gained a ton of subscribers yesterday just because of my videos were like all up there because I gained a lot before my September video, my September 1st video was posted. So yeah, I'm curious how you guys feel about it. I know some people do it and I look at the comments. I always look at people's comments, like whether it's on TikTok or on YouTube, I just always go to the comments. But um, my friend Mackenzie did that. She always does that. And people, sometimes people are like, well, the majority of people love it. Um, they love being able to set the reminder. But then there's some people who are like, "You're." I, I remember one person commented on it and they were like you're setting these er uh the distance between the time she posts and the time it actually goes live they were like you're setting it further and farther in advance now what's the point i won't be returning to watch and i was like oh my word that is too much <laughs> you need to calm down um but yeah let me know what you guys think about it i also saw someone um commented on one of my videos she commented on my video and she said that i could do that i should do depop bundles which would be so fun like ah uh, my thrift store has such good stuff and i feel like i could give so like so many good things um so let me know if you guys would like that like if i shopped for you know whoever on depop and i looked into it last night like i just looked on depop for similar listings as that and th there's like a big market for them like people really do love the thrift bundle like the secret thrift bundles so let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that um i need to stop talking because this is a 15 minute clip so I'm going to get back to my rate card and I will show you guys some more updates. I think I'm going to do some like designs on it so it looks cute and um, aesthetically pleasing. But what was I going to say? Let me know also how you like this new setup. I'm obsessed with it because it's just like completely white and I love the lighting. I love everything about how my room is now. I'm still waiting on the couch to be removed. I honestly don't know when it's going to be removed though because um, I don't know. I'm just not holding my breath. And I also just had the revelation that there is a likelihood that I will be le like moving out of my house. Um, so I don't necessarily want to buy things now because... I will probably be moving out soon and like that I mean a full-length mirror is something that I would obviously want in my apartment but the thing is that a full-length mirror is full length so it's huge um, I am thinking about getting some plants for this little area so that I can film with some plants behind me I think that would be cute like a monstera maybe like a happy plant or something like that just something simple and cheap from Lowe's they all Always have good monsters for like fifteen dollars. Ten, I've seen some for ten dollars there. Or I could put these little plants over there, but I feel like I just like those plants right there, and I don't like moving that because that's like where I'm propagating some plants, and those plants do need a lot of natural sunlight. So 
that's what's going on <laughs> i've literally been talking for 17 minutes okay well this is just gonna be another little chatty one but peace i just completed my rate card and honestly i am so glad that i got it done i kind of had an entire first draft and um i sent it to my friend lore and she was like you are severely undercharging so i changed some things around and i'm really happy with how it is now if you guys are ever making a rate card or like reaching out to brands and wanting them to pay you what i did was i looked on social blue book and initially i just kind of translated what social blue book said i should be charging and put that on my rate card but i think with social blue book they don't really know much about you other than your stats that are seen like within your youtube studio or in your instagram analytics and they don't know how much influence you really hold like i did a campaign with felina intimates and i made a good bit of commission which means i made a good bit of sales so they don't really see any of that and i think like most of the things that i promote if i have a discount code i usually do see a good bit of um, money come from those things because a lot of people buy the things that i promote and i don't think i promote that many things but um or like try to advertise that many things but when i do people resonate with it and they feel like led to buy things there's a word for that term like there's a word i know that there's a word i just can't it's not in my head right now basically social blue book doesn't tell you those things and um how much your work is worth like i know for most of my videos they take me a long time to film edit upload and they're all i would say quality and so yeah they don't really take into account they only look at the numbers which can be very misleading in finding out how much you're worth because i think you're worth like a lot more than just the numbers if that makes sense so i've gotten that done now i think i'm about to film a video i'm really excited for this one i wasn't intending on filming a video today other than my 6 a.m uh waking up at 6 a.m for a week and then two other workout videos one was doing mad fit workouts for a week and then the second was what i wear my workout outfits for a week but I just don't feel like doing that right now maybe later today I'll feel like doing it I need to do it though because it is like a week long video situation but I yeah I just didn't feel like doing it this morning and I just feel like I feel like getting creative and filming a video it's gonna be a thrift flip and I'm really excited for it I also maybe I did this last night I switched over all of my details um, from one calendar to the other you guys know that I made not an entirely different calendar but some of the templates are a little different um, in the calendar that I released I'll show you guys so this is the one that I was using before and this is what the monthly spread looked like which I did not enjoy this from the time I made it so I took it upon myself to make a different one and this basically has notes here three columns four columns which i just think it's very it's so much user friendly so much more user friendly because it's kind of spread out you guys can see i have a lot more empty space to kind of fill some stuff in and then i changed this this was not in the calendar that i initially made um, i wanted it to be kind of catered to everybody so that everybody could find use in this and i feel like goals um events to do birthdays and notes was a great thing to have in here in my notes i literally put you are amazing and you're capable you will get a job and you will be successful in what you do that's so funny to me um and then these are the same as from the first calendar but yeah this is the main difference this and then this are both the big differences between the first draft of calendar and the second draft. I sent the first draft to a good bit of my YouTube friends though and they said they enjoyed it so 
yeah I think that was just like a little bit of an upgrade from the last one but now I'm about to get in full-on video filming mode today I am filming a video that is supposed to be posted on Monday the 7th and it is September the 2nd so I have this day to film it and then um, I should be good I'm going more in order of when my videos are being posted because that just makes me be less stressed. I think I was worrying in in the past months that I did eight daily uploads in May and July. I think I was worrying about videos out of order and like having a lot of videos that had to be filmed over a few like over a week or something over a period of time and while I do still have videos like that like the 6 a.m. one the wearing outfits for a week the working out for a week or the mad fit workouts for a week those videos are things that don't disrupt my daily schedule like those are things that I would do reg like anyways um, so if that makes sense um, that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm really excited for this new setup because I think I'll be able to show all of the um, outfits right here and I'm just kind of contemplating should I go get some plants or something to like sit there or should I just use them? I feel like I should just use the plants that are over there for today but I do want to get a stool. That's one thing I really want to get but those are all coming from the thrift store and so yeah, and I'm going to do a little thrift with me video soon as well. So, oh, that one's due on Tuesday. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow morning. I'm just so excited about daily uploads because I feel like this is stuff that gets me out of my normal rut of just like doing the same things every day, like filming a week in my life and then filming like a haul or something. And it's like the same every single time. Um, every single week and this just makes me I always go through the months of daily uploads and end it like feeling so inspired to like continue I always end the month of daily uploads like so excited to work on different things maybe that's the Enneagram 3 speaking in me because we always throw ourselves into projects but if you guys are Enneagram Thes, let me know because I would love to chat if you are into Enneagrams I literally love talking about it analyzing myself analyzing how I act around certain people and I was talking to my mom about it last night I feel like I've had this conversation on this vlog if I haven't I was talking to my mom last night about Enneagrams or maybe two nights ago I was talking to her about Enneagrams and she was like yeah it just really helps you understand other people understand yourself and how to cater to people's needs good morning guys it is a Thursday morning I just went and watched the sunrise and um, got some Starbucks. This is a little bright. And got some Starbucks. Anyways, right now I need to think about what I plan on doing with my morning. The only, I could start filming right now. Like the lighting is okay. But the only thing is, obviously you guys can hear it. The trash is outside. Um, and they see, take what seems like forever. So I think right now I am going to, I didn't finish that um, thrift flip yesterday at all. I got through one, literally one, it's hanging right there. But I finished one of them and I have two more to do today. I'm hoping that if I start a little bit earlier I can get it done, but I think now is just a good time to do my workout outfits of the week and do a workout. So I think that's what we're gonna do and I will see you guys after the focuses of today. Um, one, to do laundry, two, to edit. The mama's gone, and the papa's off in the cater. Well, I you got eyes, and I you could see that I'm lonely. And away, I got eyes, and I, I can see that you're coming uh, tell me who's that boy over there hello guys it is 6 14 it's 
been a while. I straight up just now finished my little thrift flip. They're both sitting right here. I was intending on doing two, I mean three, but those two obviously took me like the entire day, so I just am not gonna do the other. Right now, I really do need to clean my room. I have like all of this stuff in here. Oh shoot, that's still plugged in. I have all of this thrift flip stuff in here. Also, you guys know, or maybe don't, um, Thursdays are my laundry days. So there's all my laundry on my bed. I'm like really overwhelmed right now. I don't know why my room is just really messy and you know, you know how these things go. So when I come back, I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me cleaning and then I will talk to you guys again later. I feel like I have stuff to say. If I don't, you'll see me tomorrow. Peace. I cleaned up my room for the most part and right now I just need to oh my gosh it just started pouring <laughs> um if you guys know me IRL you know that I quite literally there's nothing worse than like seeing cords like excessively long I'll show you guys what I'm talking about this has been bothering me for like a few ever since I changed around my room well even before because this cord was over there and so the cord that's by my bed is a lot shorter but it's a power surge or a power strip so oh my gosh I just literally pushed the couch back I'm going to switch them because I feel like this one will just be better served over there and then that one I can um, pull behind my bed. Okay, so I wanna give some updates. I switched out the little plugs there. You can still see a ton of cords but I feel like it's less than what there was before. And then over here, I guess these cords I'm not super like pressed on because I do like use this for my phone and sometimes I'm like over there on my bed and I like that it reaches. But I put this white one over here and I think it looks better there. Also there's a black cord running through because my mom got me a cable that went from here where my cable box is or the cable wall thing and from there to my TV so now I can watch Love Island when it comes on. I'm so excited. I just realized I'm in a full on grout outfit. I have just removed myself from the shower and inserted myself into my bed. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It is, what time? It's 8.50 and I'm ready for lights out. It is Friday. I actually got off to a very bad start this morning. Not very bad, but I just um, woke up and then went back to sleep, which we hate to see it. But now I'm on my way to Duncan. Okay, I'm back home. I'm about to film just like the last little try on part of my thrift flip. And then I think I'm gonna go, or I'm gonna edit until like 10.30. It's like 9.30 right now. Yeah, it's 9.18. And then I'm gonna go to the thrift store because it opens at 11 and I think my video for Tuesday is a thrift with me. So I do need to get that done. I also need to just check like what my videos are for next week because I really would love to have them all like filmed and scheduled um, by Sunday which if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen it's okay but um, <clears throat> I'm just using my little planner 
I just finished filming the last part of my thrift flip and now I am just about to clean my room. There is a few things over there on the floor that I need to get up. And while I do that, I'm actually going to listen to my friend Laura's podcast. I feel like this is just the Laura fan page at this point. But I am, she just posted season two, episode one of her new podcast. And I'm so excited to listen to it. I started listening to it in the car, but... Um, I am a New York City content creator. I make YouTube videos. There she is. So I'm going to keep playing this while I clean and then make up a game plan from there. Okay, so I just finished listening to Laura's podcast. It was so good. Now I am uploading a bunch of footage. I have gotten everything, like literally every single piece of video file upload into my computer i'm ready to start editing as soon as i get back i am now it's just such a nice day so i feel guilty like staying in my room and editing right now but now i'm gonna go film a thrift with me i could possibly be going to lowe's so i'll bring you guys with me there but a thrift with me is going to be an entirely separate video and yeah so let's go Sorry about the air, but I just can't do without it. Um, but I just finished my little thrift flip or my thrift with me video. I still have a little bit that I need to film at home, so I'm gonna do that when I get home. I can't make a decision. There's this huge monstera plant, and then this one, which my sister has them, and I think they're so cute. Um, but then also these fiddly figs are really cute as well. I just can't make a decision. Me dilemma because I could get these, which this is ten dollars, so I'd get this one and maybe a fiddle leaf. But these are just so tiny, and I don't think they would fill the space like this one would. <sighs> I don't know. I'm confused. Thought about it though. <laughs> Guys, we're at the mall for the first time in what feels like ages. Don't you wanna know if you're supposed to look up? 